Occasionally, you'll drill a hole in something and it, it'll end up being the wrong size hole, too small. Or you'll change the design altogether, as in the case of this idler disc for the Senior 20. I drilled a 3 16 inch hole and then I decided I wanted to mount a bearing in here. I'd already machined the groove in this. I wanted to put a half inch hole in here so I could put a bearing in there. So this is how I go about doing that so I don't have to throw this piece away that's almost completed. Make sure this column is locked solid so this can't move that way. And make sure this table is locked solid so that table can't turn. And very carefully put this disc back on that brad point bit. Then I'll lock the handle to where it can't return. To keep that in place, put a couple of clamps on here. Make sure that that's where I want it. Two clamps are better than one. put a bearing in here that's a half inch outside diameter. So I'm going to use a half inch farsner bit. I go ahead and drill that hole with the farsner bit and I didn't quite drill it all the way through. I'm leaving a little bit of a ledge in the plywood to stop that bearing from going all the way through. And I take this out I'm putting the next size drill bit in here, which is 13 64ths. I'm going to drill that through. So I drilled all three of these. Now the bearing presses in there. Put a shaft on there. And it'll turn free. The reason for drilling the 1364 hole in here after I drilled this one is that your chances of getting this exactly perfectly centered are, are pretty slim. Re-entering a hole like this is fairly difficult on a drill press like this anyway. And the 1364 gives me a little bit of clearance on a 316 shaft. If this had to turn 10,000 RPM, then maybe this would not be very good. But this appears to run true and it will work perfect on the Senior 20 Argon where it turns less than 50 RPM. What I did do is I drilled some holes and practiced what I was going to do a few times before I went back and tried to re-enter these. And you can see that little ledge here that I was referring to. This plywood is just a little bit thicker than this bearing and that keeps that bearing from going out the other side. Now I'm going to lacquer this sand it, lacquer it again, and then that bearing will press in there. Right now it just drops in. It's a little bit too loose. The size of the hole in this disc is not a big deal. It's not a lot of work to make a new disc. What is a big deal is if you've gone to a lot of work building something, cutting out gears, and for whatever reason you find out that the hole that you've drilled is too small. And that was the case when I built the marble machine, the figure eight ring gear lift. I originally put 5 16 axle shafts in all of the gears, and I found out they were just too small, and I needed to increase that to half inch. And every gear that's on that marble machine, I had to realign and redrill and maintain concentricity so that these gears would turn correctly. Otherwise, I would have had to make all those gears again. And I did not want to do that.